the lift does well against Enchantress. Like, obviously there isn't a whole lot that's really good to steal because the Witch Doctor can just trigger the heal. You know, I, I'm, I'm really, really upset. So I was going to say Leshrac or Lina picked up yeah. for Vici Gaming. Um, I was a little bit nervous about Leshrac. Like, he's he's really good versus Phantom Lantern that he clears through illusions where he's cause, cause so much AoE. But at the same time, once you have the defusal, right, like eventually the Phantom Lancer then becomes a counter to the, the Leshrac just because you burn through his mana so quickly. Um, but I kind of feel like that kind of like very active pickup for resolution, Leshrac, Lina, like that kind of kill combo, plus Rubik is a natural setup here of Telekinesis into Split Earth or Light Strike Array works out. Vici Gaming, not terribly surprising that they go for the DK. Uh, you said it would have been okay versus Tiny Wisp, and he is going to help have some help from the Enchantress, plus it's Vici Gaming. Super yeah. DK number one. I was gonna, I was gonna say, but I didn't want to interrupt your train of thought that I was thought they were gonna take the DK, because it's just a comfort hero for Super. Before everyone stopped picking him, it was like that was the that was the thing to do, right? It was like Super DK. Yep. He'll have a stable performance. Everything will go well. And I thought they were gonna do it again, just because they needed a little bit more beef, and they needed a BKB hero mid. Like primarily, that was the main reason I thought it was gonna be the DK. Because if you take a hero like Shadow Fiend, you're gonna get destroyed by the Tiny Wisp. And I or think the Earth Shaker, yeah, right? exactly. that burst damage, the blink, instant stun is tough. Yeah, so you need a BKB hero that's naturally tanky, and I think the Dragon Knight is the perfect pickup, and that's the reason why, because you need a BKB carrier mid definitely. And so Empire, they need some way to, some way to deal with this. And um, I, I want to see a killing hero. Do you have a different uh, kind of play style in mind for this last pick? I don't know, man. Just take Jug. That hero owns. Just take I haven't seen that hero in, in a while. Even though well. you'd have a tiny and a jug on the same team, no, I that's, mean, it's that like a bit greedy. That sounds really weird. I probably wouldn't do that. I'm just meant <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know what else well. I'm going to pick right now. My analysis isn't meant for these weird picks. And I haven't. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure. Blame, blame the blame, I, dude, blame I the picks. I don't know picks. what's meta yet. I'm figuring it out. Just <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's else. the team's fault that I can't analyze this game. <laughs> So Viper picked up. I mean, it wasn't what I was expecting, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to have a silent Viper. Mm. It's got no AoE versus a Phantom Lancer. That's a bit concerning for me. At least it's tanky, though. Yeah, and you run at stuff. Like, that's the primary sure. thing is that Empire, I think that they stick to their roots and they just they run at you as hard as they can. Non-stop sprint. There's mm. not a huge wall in between you and the rest of the heroes. Like, last game, there was... Um, the Undying Tombstone on top of the, what was it, the EMP plus Tornado combination. Yep. And I think those two combinations of things, it's just too difficult to fight into. But this game, all you really have to worry about is the Tidehunter. But he's in a mobile watermelon that doesn't really do much for you. <laughs> aside from, like, sprout out from the ground. Especially when it's uh, Ice 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 Tidehunter who may not be going for that early Blink Dagger and may still go for, like, the Guardian Greaves since he seems to love that item. Uh, the... I mean, I loved it on... I, I just want to say, like, I thought the Undying... I didn't think there was any any synergy, real synergy, with the Undying and uh, and Phantom Lancer. But, boy, Phantom Lancer, one of the biggest problems is he's kind of squishy, right? And just the way that Ice 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 built with all those teamfight items, Guardian Greaves, Pipe, uh, etc. Shiva's, I think, was the next item after that. Yeah. It just made the Phantom Lancer so tanky, even before he had uh, any tank items. Man, I love their. I actually love their effigies. If you look, it's like, it's just like the dry sense here is like black hole. There's like not a lot of. And if you look at Yoki, it's just no description at all. It's just a Magnus. And they don't even have effigies for the rest. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of. All right, whatever. It was just something that entertained me like crazy, but. Um, I'm glad you brought that to our attention, but. Yeah, I had fun with it. So the Wisp is definitely going to get the spoon here at the bottom lane. Um, Ice 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 kind of looks like he wants to contest for it, but Yoki's in position to block him out. So this should be pretty easy for Aloha Dance to grab. Yep, Bounty Rune going to him. Bounty Rune also being picked up by Super, who's going to be going for the super fast bottle as well. Haha. <laughs> Uh -huh. I saw what you did there. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Blitz. Uh, Silent is going to be going top lane. Uh, w are, so they're switching up the lanes? Is that what they're doing? There's no way this Yoki's playing support, right? And they have an off lane Rubik? Uh, I think what? this is just he'll TP down at some yeah. point. They're <sighs> maybe a quick kill, first blood, right? The surprise Fisher on somebody. Uh, well, yeah. on, not on how, but maybe on FY. The problem here is that they don't want to give, uh, they don't want to put Yoki in a position where he's straight up in a one on one. Sure. Against the uh, Tide Hunter, like I said, that would be absolutely. I called these lanes, didn't you? I? Really did. Didn't I you? said that they should just dual lane uh, with How because 
No matter what happens, if you put Ice 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 in a scenario where he's going to get absolute farm, I think it's worth it. Oh man, I kind of want to see Silent. I mean, he's already dropping a little bit of HP, so it's understandable, but I kind of want to see him harass that Witch Doctor just because, you know, they still have the missing uh, Earthshaker who could get the surprise Fisher on FY, and a first blood would go a long way. Meanwhile, Vici Gaming, while they're losing the, the top lane, they're not going to overly win the bottom lane, that's for sure. It should draw even or even to Ice Ice Ice's favor just through CS. Uh, you've got also a jungler on the side of Vici Gaming, so obviously if the way, if things stay the way they are right now, Vici Gaming are going to get a huge lead in the laning phase. Yeah, I think this was a good call by Vici as well, because um, all you have to do is win the lane with Ice 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 in this one-on-one -on -one position, and if he gets enough farm, then it's too difficult to contest them early game. And this Enchantress doesn't even have to gank if she doesn't want to, because um, her lanes are going to do just fine. And she sent the Tornado Creep mid as well to help out, so the Wist Tiny isn't going to do as well as it should, and the yeah, Silent TP's down, he absolutely has to. But even then, like, Ice 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 has picked up enough farm, like he's got this uh, enchanted mango which he grabs every single game, he's got boots and level 3, and meanwhile at top, Howe is pretty uncontested in terms of farm, and it's not like an Earthshaker is going to stop him. Yeah, for sure. The uh, the only upside for Empire is the middle lane, but as you said, Super should do okay, right? The the bare minimum is just not dying against the Tiny Wisp. He'll pick up some CS here and there with the Breathe Fire spam as well. Yeah, I shouldn't sound like so excited or surprised when I get something right, even if it's off me, because it just like, makes me wow, sound I like I did it. It. <laughs> it makes me sound like I normally get things wrong, and I was just kind of surprised that it worked out in my favor for yeah, once. Yeah, you, you need to play it a little bit more cool. Yeah, I, gotta, I don't to have to like, point out the fact that yeah. I was right. Just like, right. it was expected. You just <laughs> got to be a little bit more arrogant about it. You just got to be like, yeah, I called it again. Yeah, I'll Standard Blitz <laughs> Dota. <laughs> that, that's that 7k MMR kicking into play. Bottom line, we have some action. Fenrir is trying to come in from the side, but they do not manage to get the Centaur Stomp, so all is well as we're going to continue with this killless laning phase, so far anyway. I keep looking at middle, but again, like as long as Super is decently uh, decently up there in HP, he should never go down. I guess the biggest question is whether or not Yoki gets caught by FY. Yeah, Yoki should be fine just because Fissure does such a good job of zoning out in this yep. early phase, and he has so much tree line to work with. At the same time, like, he's going to go into the... Like, how can jump in with a doppelganger? Oh, he's got no tangos. Yeah. He's done for. Yoki, like, he can throw out the Fissure. He's waiting it out to the last second, it looks like. Trying to get a block, perhaps? Nope. Okay. Gives away the first blood without even con just not even saying anything about it. He just turns around and accepts it, I guess. Yeah, I thought he would, uh... I thought he would at least throw out a Fissure, but he kind of just accepted his fate there. Yeah, he's, he's like, just, you know what? You guys got me. <laughs> like, you... He's like, all right. I'm not gonna... You, you caught me this. with my pants down. I'll go ahead and turn over and bend over. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's like, you guys take this one. <laughs> this one's on me. Take... Ice, ice, ice. As you said, like, him being able to have, like, level 2 Kraken Shell is pretty big, right? 24 damage reduction. That basically means that Rubik's damage is cut almost in half. Viper, you know, a third of his damage is completely gone. Ice, ice, ice is just playing very aggressively here, burning through tangos, but is getting more than enough gold for that uh, as the turn. Yeah, and the main reason he's been able to do this is because... The Enchantress keeps sending over satyrs to burn Silence mana, mm -hmm. so all they can do right now is give him the right click, Yoki. but it's not a lot of damage. The Maledict is going to tick. They get a couple more right clicks. Yoki's not going to die to just that. How though, has another Lance as soon as he sees Yoki. Night Vision Jukes, not going to be good enough. Yoki will end up going down, but damn! Resolution Aloha Dance. Of course, they dive middle at the exact same time. They get the pick off on Fenrir, the Enchantress who does goes down, as well as the Dragonite. So in the end, the trade off very much worth it for Empire. And a good rotation for them uh, at top, but at the same time, Resolution and Aloha Dance finally getting aggressive on this mid lane, and they need to, because Super right now, he was just kind of playing that static laning phase, like, okay, all I have to do is survive, and I've kind of won in that sense, because Ice 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 is doing such a good job, and the Enchantress should be picking up some farm as well. So good rotation by, um, not rotation, that's the wrong word, but good aggressive move by Empire to go on him, and it sure. looks like they want to try to go again, but Dyer's not really in position to. And yeah, they don't, to uh, unless he goes into Intelligence Treads, he doesn't quite have the mana to be able to go for the stun and toss back, and I think that's really the only way they catch the DK um, in a aggressive maneuver like that. Now, they do have always want to fly in this top lane. The Rubik is going to try and help Yoki out. Obviously, the lane is a nightmare. They can freely dive the tower thanks to the Phantom Lancer's natural strength. Oh, middle lane. We caught the tail end of that one. Dragonite goes down. Looks like another toss back. Resolution Aloha Dance find yet another kill. 
Yeah, and this is the lane to watch out for. Weiss, he's gonna get the kill on Silence. He has a Ravage. No, he's not actually. I really thought he was gonna pop the Ravage and go for another Anchor Smash, but he's only got level one Anchor Smash, fully invested into a Kraken Shell, and one level of Gush means that he simply doesn't have a whole lot of damage. Again, Ice 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 playing for that heavy amount of tankiness rather than the kill power of time. Yeah, and still, being able to zone out a Viper with the Tide Hunter is pretty impressive in itself. Sure. Just because you expect the Radiance Viper to be able to win against most attack. melee heroes, but... Oh, that's that's why. They pull him back, but they don't want to get too close together. The cast is going to bounce around. They get always want to fly with the Maledict. They do manage to get a good Fissure with a Relocate in. They easily pop Howe and might just get FY as well. He's going to run down, but will TP out the right clicks? Oh, Aloha Dance. A little bit late on pulling those balls back. And uh, we'll be unable to get the kill. Two to four now. Six and a half minutes in. And Super pops the ulti for him. This is where he's going to try to kind of get aggressive because he knows that Aloha Dance uh, doesn't have any more bottle ticks. And so hitting down the tower a little bit. But he's got to be careful because he does have eight stick charges. The bottom rune isn't going to be available. So they're going to find nothing but uh, dust down there. And Fenrir just continues to farm out this jungle. But not doing it at quite a quick pace. He's only level four right now. And Super just kind of attacking the tower once in a while, running away, and Resolution has enough mana for this, though. They're going to be able to jump uh, Super. They do get some damage on Aloha Dance. He might actually fall, but never mind. They have the burst to get the kill on Super. Meanwhile, it's waiting for How to jump bottom lane, but it seems like Silent is playing this pretty passive and is not going to get caught. So Empire find their pickoff. We'll see whether or not Vici Gaming managed to get their gank successfully. Uh, Silent's going to be slowed down. Ice does, of course, have the Ravage if it's necessary, but it doesn't seem like it's necessary. Fisher comes in, a bit of surprise, but Silent will still end up falling. The doppelganger to the side. How will get out and no response from Empire. No TP's available, and they did not have the relocate yet. Another five seconds until that's up. Yeah, they might actually want to fight that after this point, though, because How is so low. Fenrir doesn't provide you much and uh, ice 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 he does have um, the ravage up but I don't think this is gonna be an aggressive ravage if he were to use it like this would be purely to get the hell out of dodge but right uh, right now Empire what? they're executing the combo a lot better than we've seen all day the tiny wisp is really paying off for them so far sure FY Looks oh, like he's, he's going to be caught by the rotation. They do have the TP in from the Ice 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 Tidehunter. Maybe he can turn this run around. They get the nuke and the right click to be able to finish off the Witch Doctor. Ice 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 running around, not sure what to do with his haste. He thought about blowing the Ravage there, decided it wasn't the right idea, but his support still died. So he just holds on, off on it. The only play would be using it to uh, defend middle. Super just going to be pushed back. Are they actually going for this kill? The turn around. How is actually going to TP in? They're going to try and go for the whiz. Resolution stunned up and got off the avalanche at the same time. Aloha Dance. Resolution. They're both going to get out of here if necessary. It looks like, yeah, they decide. Go ahead. Relocate back up to top lane. But this does give space for Super, who popped his Elder Dragon form to uh, put some pressure on the tower alongside How. Now, I always want to fly too bad. He's not level 6. Doesn't have an additional nuke, but does bring Hao low enough he's going to back up. Yeah, they both rotate in mid again, and Hao has been kind of uh, pressured out of here. And once again, the same story, Hao's farm isn't the best, just because he's had to rotate so often. And Resolution getting a little bit of uh, the better deal here, as well as Silent, who's finally picked up in farm. And he's forced out the Ravage on uh, Ice Ice Ice. Yeah, exactly. And so, so. Um, had to use it to live right there, and uh, FY takes over a top. Yoki, Fenrir holds himself to the side, trying to make sure that he doesn't get hit by the Fisher block, and sure enough, he does have enough room to sneak on through, so he will be fine. Empire, they rotate around, not really finding anything, but at the same time, not really losing anything. Yeah, something I want to point out as well is that the Witch Doctor is usually a good uh, counter to this Tiny Wisp, but did you notice the top when they went for him, they mm -hmm. immediately split up. Oh, like they were willing to break the yeah, tether exactly. to make sure they didn't get hit by the cast. That's a veteran move because most teams are kind of like stick together, not really sure what to do, but they just hard committed. Oh, Super's going to be caught here, the Fisher. Eh, well, I was going to say Fisher block will allow them to get some more right clicks in, but it's not even necessary. The burst damage from Resolution is more than enough. So Treads, Drums, 4, 0, and 3. This could be even more successful. Tiny than an era tiny, it seems like. Wiz coming in, helping healing him. FY, he's gonna bounce. He's about to pick up his level six. I think he wants to go for the kill here on Silent. It's a very bold maneuver, but he's gonna go for it. The relocate is the response, though. He gets the Maledict, but a flying snake is gonna land on top of FY and claims the kill. FY will pay for his overzealousness. And that was a good move if there wasn't a tiny wisp into the game. But sure. because there is, you have to respect it. You can't forget about this combination. 
And it just felt like it was one of those things that he did. He's like, oh, I'm going to get the solo kill. Mm -hmm. Forgot the fact that the Wiss and the Tiny can come in at any point and turn things around. And it feels like Empire, they're just playing this combination so patiently. Nothing that they do is too obvious. They're slowing the pace of the game down, looking for opportunities with this Tiny and Wiss to counter initiate. And at this point in time, we're looking at big counters. How is hit by the Fisher Resolution comes in, does get the Avalanche onto him, the toss on the main target as well, the Echo Slam, and they get the kill on How. Very much worth it, especially with Yoki Low. Middle lane, they are trying to play aggressively, push in that tier one tower. Always want to fly, going to keep him back though. I doubt Super is going to be able to push forward anymore. The Wiss is coming in from the side, Super does have some backup in the Witch Doctor. They're going to continue to go forward, trying to claim the super kill with just two supports. They almost get it the oh Witch not quite enough, but the Fate Bolt is there. FY gets the turnaround, but his ultimate is too far away from Aloha Dance, Resolution and he though. will get away, and FY stuck. He has to commit to the kill on Aloha Dance. Resolution misses the Avalanche, but will get the toss up here, the right clicks, and unstoppable spree as Ice 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 is just puts his hands up in the air. What can he do? How? He's going to go on to Resolution now, but of course, with the Wiz still alive, there's no way you kill that tiny. He's already tanky enough, and with the tether heals, it's too much to handle. Top three on the net worth, all Empire, and while Yoki is obviously suffering quite heavily, they're made up hev heavily in the fact that the Wisp is sitting third in net worth, tied up with the Viper ahead of every single one of the Vici Gaming. Games. It's honestly just because of the fact that they were able to go for it. Okay, hey, Rabbit's going to go off. Ice, Ice, Ice. He's still heavily slowed down. He's still going to fall despite the fact he blew the Rabbit. They do get a good cask out. Silent, he's going to be the first to fall in Pettit Shots. Peckering at him. Resolution Aloha. Dan told the cast between the two of them, but the relocate out will be there. They return from whence they came. Yoki, unfortunately, may be left to die as his allies go ahead and farm up. The Lances are there, always want to fly, trying to catch up, but he can't really do anything. In fact, if anything, he may end up going down as well. He's managed to steal the lands, pushes Hal back, but both Super, Fenrir, and Hal are all trying to chase him down. Not enough space, though, to be able to get that kill. Empire do manage to get a tier one tower in the bottom lane. It's a trade-off, though. And you're perfectly okay with that because, sure. again, every single time that a Ravage is blown, that's another time, like a minute and a half that Vici don't want to get into a fight because the downside to this uh, Tidehunter is that he doesn't have his mech quite yet, and so the amount of utility that he provides in team fights is very limited. And this is a very immobile hero. Like he shows up to a lane if he's got Ravage, they can fight. If he doesn't, and he's just kind of a soft spot hero that doesn't really pull off a lot of damage. So I feel like the Phantom Lancer pickup into the Tiny is not bad by any means, but it is very net worth heavy. And, and by saying that, I kind of mean that, like, how is going to be countered by the heavy amount of physical damage and splash from the Tiny when he's this far behind him? Now, Super Telekinesis, there's no follow-up TPs. Looks like they're just trying to slow down the push because in the middle lane, Resolution and Aloha Dance. We're going for the kill on the Ice Ice Ice, deciding against it. Resolution now turns around, does get the Avalanche just to clear space for Aloha Dance. And that should be enough. Top lane does get taken out by the uh, Elder Dragon form of the Dragonites. They did steal it on Rubik, but nothing too special about that. Oh, and Resolution went for the intercept at top, assuming that uh, Super would go for this rune, but Super's just had such a rough game. This isn't typical of him. 1, 5, and 2 right now. He's usually, I feel like, the rock of Vichy, right? Like, he always does a really good job of not dying, getting kills here and there, and just being really stable in terms of performance. But this game, yes. he's had a rough, Radiant's and it's just a combination of Wiss Tiny. Attack. He doesn't respect it enough, I feel, and... Resolution almost picking up his Ags, and once that happens, I mean, the damage from the combination of these two heroes is going to be insanely high. You know, I said the Elder Dragon form wasn't going to do much, but it did uh, manage to put a little pressure on that top tower as it fades. Uh, he just got a little bit of poison damage there. No need to over-aggressively push for towers, though, that's for sure. Right on the Empire side, they almost have the Aghanim's Tiny. At that point, towers are for free. Yeah, you don't have to overcommit. Cap. You just wait it out. Look for opportunities to come with you and abuse the Tiny Wisp combination. Like, sure. go around the map if anybody's farming solo, which they can at this point. Like, look how differently Vici are playing in this game. Like, how last game we just saw him split push as hard as he could to catch up, but this game, he always has to be around somebody. Like, he has to have somebody babysit. How sees what's coming. They do have the haste rune on Aloha Dance. Ice, ice, ice. Slow down, but it looks like the TPs are going to force both Aloha Dance and Resolution back. They do have the Fisher. That is going to be available in a second here. Super managed to get the stun onto Aloha Dance, leaving his support behind, but the tether is good enough for Aloha Dance to catch up. Alongside that haste rune, he sticks with the resolution till the end. Farther up, though, Silent is going to be caught by Fenrir and Ice Ice Ice, trying to force out the Ravage, and Silent is successful in that regard, even if he is going to die for it.
And again, another Ravage is used, and so Beachy Gaming, they have... What are they really going to get out of this, though? The top tower isn't really in a position to be pushed out. It's only the Viper that died, and uh, the Tiny Wisp is still alive, and at top, Ice 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 has to be careful. Oh, they're going to get him. coming in. Yoki has the chain stun available with the Relocate. They easily clean up the kill on Ice Ice Ice, and this is why I was kind of showcasing Yoki's positioning earlier. He could afford to just solo into the enemy jungle because he hits a Fissure, and there's a Relocate to follow it up, and it's like a guaranteed kill. They relocate back to middle. They're going to head up into their jungle where they'll find Vici Game. But is this a fight they really want to take? They're going to try and pop Ben Rear as soon as possible. The Dukes will do the job, but at the same time, always want to fly. He pops the Dragon Form. Not enough to get away from the land from Hao. Revolution, though, is going to try and punish him as best as possible. Couple of right clicks. Yoki in position. Echo Slam toss up, and they take down the carry of Vici Gaming for a godlike spree on Resolution. Yeah, that's a 16-minute godlike spree. There's nobody in Vici right now that can fight him. Like, this Dragonite has gone the full poverty build with the multiple bracers. Just trying to fill out item slots right now because what else is he going to buy at this point? And he's actually being ran oh out as goodness. well. They're actually caught up to Super. Now Empire. Well, there's still two heroes down on the side of Vici Gaming. So I guess their aggression can't really be stifled at all by Vici Gaming. Uh, without enough heroes there to be able to TP in. They do not have a Ravage still, but it seems like Empire aren't going to worry too much about it. Again, no need to press aggressively for towers. They just kind of come natural with a Tiny Wisp lineup. Yeah, exactly, and they they understand the way that this game is going right now. The PL is crumbling under this pressure. The Dragon Knight doesn't have a lot of farm. Like, he's been forced into this double Bracer build, which is terribly inefficient for him. There's not even an earn on FY. Like, how often do you see... Uh, this guy, this underfarmed, and Fenrir as well, who's, you know, he's got an urn of his own, uh, hasn't been able to really have too much impact in terms of ganking around the map, and he hasn't had the farm to supplement that as well. So this game, Resolution, it just feels like him and Aloha Dance have taken it over. You're just living in their world at this point, and a Yasha almost completed for Resolution as well, and that's going to mean just so much damage coming out of that hero. Yeah, certainly. I mean, you take a look at the uh, net worth difference, it's 5k to the advantage of Team Empire. And that 5k is the uh, the amount of gold that Tiny has over the Phantom Lancer right now. He's 10k at 18 minutes. How is sitting at 5k? He's got less than the Wisp that's right like, now. <laughs> yeah, that's actually still a whole entire meme that's going on, Blitz. Yeah. Been constant through this game, but somehow they've had such a successful Tiny Wisp duo that they've stayed, at, stayed ahead of How the whole entire time. Yeah, and so Aloha Dance picks up this uh, Glimmer Cape, and although at first glance you think, okay, it makes you invisible, it makes it hard for Vici to do anything, and it seems like Vici's supports are super greedy. Like, in every single game they've seen an Invis hero, they almost never have preemptive uh, dust. Or, uh, oh, he actually gets hit by that Telkinesis with the Avalanche in. They're going to be able to finish him off. Resolution right in the middle of everybody. is soaking up some damage, but he's going to start backing out. He doesn't want to take too much with the Maledict. He'll let his allies clean up as uh, Aloha Dance. Well, he ends up getting just barely away. Lives through the damage of the poison from Super. Another two-man stand up from Yoki. Super's not going anywhere. And I feel like Fenrir is probably going to go down as well. Ice 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 is here to help out, but Yoki blinks ahead of Fenrir. Even with that slow auto attack, it doesn't really matter. Fenrir completely blocked out. His line of retreat is gone. Four heroes out from BG Gaming and all five up still from Team Empire. And again, they're just being overrun. And something I wanted to point out is that... <laughs> look at the oh, yeah, look at Aloha Dance. Like, he's just he's kind of... take a tower. By himself. Like, how often do you see... Okay. All right. Fight. Like, that shouldn't happen. Come on. Like, they... All right. Oh, God. What, is he Aloha Dance? Dance? For it? Calm what? down there, Aloha Dance. All right, relax. Trying to make too many big plays. It probably will be denied. Yoki goes oh. in for the right click and Chance on him hits. He'll probably pay for it, though. Uh, he does have Echo Slam if Ice 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 is not too careful. Lays out the Fissure. Buys some space. Doesn't look like the Maledict's going to be enough damage. Yeah, and he's going to be able to get out with that tower kill. And that amount of aggression that you're constantly seeing from Empire, there's not a lot of answers for Vici Gaming. Like, they don't really know what they're supposed to be doing. How he's just not come online, and it's going to take him at least what? Uh, what's that coming on the Courier? One Blade of Alacrity right now. I'd say at least five more minutes before he can have any sort of impact. But this game, Empire have such good ways to deal with the illusions. They've got the Aghanims tiny up so early, and he's got a Yasha drums and 1700 gold on top of that. You've got a Blink Dagger Earthshaker. Like, you finally actually have ways to deal with it. On top of that, you've got a Wisp that's pretty much unkillable because, like I mentioned, the Glimmer Cape, the 66% resistance for that five-second period of time. It pairs so well with this hero. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> 
even if it just takes you an extra two or three seconds to kill him, that's still an extra two or three seconds where Tiny's dishing out uh, an amazing more amount of damage thanks to that attack speed and uh, a lot of increased survivability as well. Ice, 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 slowing down silent, but VG Gaming really aren't there to uh, follow that one up. A bit too dangerous to go for the Viper anyway because they know Relocate is online, so if they try and go too deep for just one hero kill, they will be countered out by Empire, whether it's the TP in from Yoki and providing an Echo Slam or the uh, the Relocate in, or more likely both. Yeah, you know what the uh, the crazy part is as well is, if you remember that bottom fight, FY, they actually had zero stuns for him, and he channeled his full duration ultimate in the middle of five heroes without being able to be brought down, and they still didn't have enough damage to kill anybody. Oh yeah, straight up just like the tiny soaking up most of <laughs> yeah. that death ward, and he, he only he like he backed out because you know a little bit out of fear, right? Because you're taking so much damage and you have maledict on you, it's pretty natural you go, okay, I don't want to take any more damage. But the truth was, it was only level two, right? So it wasn't even close to threatening the tiny. He was just taking so little damage, and I think a large part of that comes down to like craggy exterior, right? The increase in armor just naturally through Agonims, through the Manta, uh, just through he has so many different stat items plus levels. He's got a decent amount of armor and physical damage doesn't mean too much to him anymore like it used to. And yeah, Super gets stunned up in mid, but I don't think this is gonna mean any sort of rotation, but this might actually mean Vici's time to go as they know that they are kind of split up, but Tiny Wisp again, you have to assume that they're always gonna be able to get there. Yeah, can you actually win the fight with that uh, full 5-on-5, five five, essentially? You can hit the Ravage, slow them down, uh, especially since we do not see the BKB out from Resolution. Do you think that's the right idea uh, going up against the Tide Hunter? Because obviously we saw how Era built uh, for the BKB. Obviously an entirely different game, but the Manta build for Tiny, still the right idea? I think if he didn't have the Aegis, he'd have gone for a BKB, but okay. he does have an Aegis, so he's probably thinking to himself, well, we've either won that fight by that point or we haven't, and me getting a BKB won't make the biggest difference in the world. Sure. It would probably enable him to fight, but I think he just wants to put out pure raw damage and the ability to chase out. And uh, I think the Manta also makes him quite tanky. Always want to fly. He's actually just harassing. Yoki does have an Echo Slam. They could actually blow up Super potentially, but Yoki's waiting in the back. He wants to jump in on Fenrir with the help of the Tiny Wisp, and they will be able to dunk him nice and quick. No Echo Slam burn just yet. Four seconds until the Blink Dagger's up, but he will be harassed by Hal and his illusions, but Resolution's got a double damage. No one can get close to this madman. It looks like they'll probably just get a Tier 2 for free. Vici Gaming unlikely to respond against the BD. Yeah, there's no way, especially with uh, Ice 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 not having a Blink Dagger. Like, we saw him have such a good start, but he just hasn't had impact. And that's mostly just because of the fact that his team can't fight. Like, he's got cores that are just way underfarmed. If Super was, like, halfway to a BKB at this point, I'd be like, okay, they can probably get into an engagement. But Ice 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 is literally the only person um, on his team that had farm for the first 10 minutes. So most of his ravages were defensive in mid. Oh, this avalanche, they do manage to get the stun out there. Super is still going to be bursted from a distance. Remember, they still have the uh, follow-up of the Earthshaker at any point in time, right? Yoki just keeps sitting on the back. He leads with a Fisher and he just waits. He waits for Vici Gaming to try and engage. If they do jump, say they wander in, try and pop a Ravage or something, they're going to be heavily grouped up. Yoki provides the counter initiation, which may mean that always want to fly men to steal Ravage at that point. The, the possibilities are endless. He just knows he doesn't need to overly commit. He just responds to whatever Vici Gaming do. Yeah, that's the perfect way to put it because, like you said, it's not the damage or the Ravage that scares you, it's all the follow-up. And so if he can just stop that follow-up even for half a second, and Empire can get back on top of Vici, then the fight's over at that point. And as I was saying earlier, like, Ice Ice Ice, he's played well this game, but the problem is all of his, vis or, uh, his Ravages have had to be defensive. Like, you've never seen him in an opportunity where it's been a five-on-five -five fight, he walks in, Ravages, and then they clean up a fight. And that's just Empire kind of outmaneuvering them and forcing awkward engagements for Vici. And it is kind of, well, it's it's also a natural result of the build as well from the Tide Hunter. When he goes for this Arcane's mech build, you're not very likely to see yes. good offensive Ravages, right? Because you don't have that mobility item. So it seems much more likely that you're gonna be blowing them defensively. Do you think that we saw success with it in the past this game specifically though a lack of blink dagger i i feel like is costing a lot for vici gaming here and rear well he doesn't have the right click damage but they do have the avalanche and with uh tiny coming in he'll help yoki clean up that kill beyond god like 8 to 22 now 25 minutes in i think honestly uh cap it's not really even a blink dagger that would really change things because they don't have the follow-up damage again 
It's just the fact that the cores have suffered so heavily. This Dragon Knight finally picks up something. Like, he's got Assange and Drums. The PL has a Diffusal Blade, but you're kind of left to wonder, is this a little bit too late? Sure. 16,000 net worth on our tiny. <laughs> 16,000. Hey, you have 8k on the Phantom Lancer. It, you you can sometimes say like, okay, when, when a carry has 2k and the enemy carry has 4k, oh, it's got double the net worth. Wow, that's really impressive. But to continue along that line just shows uh, a display of dominance that can't really be stopped. Super is going to be able to dodge the avalanche, but he won't be able to dodge the stun. They do get a good Ravage. Three men, but they don't have any follow-up. There's just no damage. They're just going to continue to beat in Super's face. Fenrir is here to try and help out with some heals, but Ice 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 is going to go down. There's just nothing stopping Resolution. He literally does not have a single dent in him. He's a giant rock man, for God's sake. They're going to be able to chase down Fenrir now with a slow of silent. One, two, three, now a fourth, and it looks oh like my. that is going to be the end. FY ends up falling as the last rampage for Empire. Hopefully, FY is going to give it to him. And that's no, it. No! Empire. Oh, wow. But Empire, though. Oh man, they what an upset! Yeah, and the crazy thing is, they just look look how excited <laughs> they're actually going. Yeah, look at Aloha dance. He's like, that's right. I've never seen like a CIS team. Dota. Yeah, they're getting so hyped right now, and they should be. Like, they just beat um, whatever the.